It's my time. Last March at her first world championship, an expectant home crowd looked at Caitlin ranked 35th in the world to finish in the top 10. A result that would mean Canada could send two women to Sochi. She has another supportive audience here in London, anxious to see what she can do at her first world championships. When I was going into that competition, I was a little more nervous, and knowing it was in Canada around everyone that I knew was around home, and then knowing that I had a job to do, they wanted me to come top 10 to get two spots for the Olympics, and it was just all getting me at once, but then I just realized, I was like, I'm in this for skating. I'm in this because I love the sport. It's given me a lot of confidence. I had fun and I just enjoyed everything it had to offer me and it turned out well and I got my job done. So far this year, I feel my training is being more focused and I get a little bit more frustrated when things aren't going well. And I think that's what the pressure is really right now is that I want to do well for everyone. And I want to show them again this year what I did last year and I want the Olympics to go really well for me and I don't want to be the newbie at the Olympics who gets too overwhelmed with everything going on that the skating becomes too difficult. So far, she's made it look easy and as she reflects on her success, Osmond says she's ready for the Sochi spotlight. I want to do well and show even more people what I can do. Coming up for Caitlin Osmond, 18 years old, there's Mike Slipchuk, the 